Welcome pagans, heathens, and curious Christians to our first ever bonus episode here on Pagan Haven, the educational tour to paganism. I'm your host, Astrid Dawn, and unfortunately, I am not joined by our co-host, James Ferguson. Like I said in our first episode, James is from Scotland, and obviously you can tell by my accent, I'm from the United States. So it does make it hard for us to be able to sit down and be able to do last minute podcasts, which this one was. We do still have our uh, podcast for familiars and spirit guides that will be released on November 15th. But we wanted to do this quick bonus episode because one, we wanted to thank you guys because after our first episode, just after one episode, we got enough listens that we were actually able to get sponsors so we're going to start getting paid from this podcast which was a big deal to us we were so excited and we just couldn't believe that we got that after one single episode we also wanted to do this because of the fact that the blood moon has just passed being november 8th and not a lot of people understand what this time is going to entail what this blood moon signified So we're going to get into that and be able to explain the different things that are going to be happening during this time. So first off, we're going to get into what this blood moon means specifically, what like the moon signifies. So full moons are normally a time of great emotion and it is the perfect time to work on shadow work. It brings things to surface that were held in. Uh, things that we try to avoid, uh, things that we just, you know, don't want to face, just different troubles in our lives, but those are going to start coming to surface and it's going to make you face them. It is the time that the moon is at its peak energy and with it being also a lunar eclipse, it's going to amplify this energy that we are feeling. It is a time that reveals secrets or even makes you face the things that you would typically avoid, like I said before, but you want to use this time to harness the excess energy to use them to face your inner problems that you are trying to avoid. We are in the time of Taurus, well, the moon being that it is in the position of Taurus, which is a natural ruler of the second house of money and possessions. This energy is determined It's practical, patient, and a little bit stubborn. This is a time that will make it easier to start new positive habits and be able to have them stick. It's also a time to reevaluate your finances and release what isn't really needed to achieve your end goals in life. And it is the perfect time to ground yourself and set a safe place for yourself. If you feel like you do not have that right now, this is the perfect time to find it. This blood moon, being that it is in the time of November, is called a beaver moon, which comes from indigenous cultures calling this a beaver moon because it was the time that they would hunt beavers for their fur in preparations for the winter. And you also want to try to eat grounded roots. At this time of year, it is best to help you stay grounded and overall your health. And these include potatoes, carrots, or other types of grounded vegetables or whatever. So that's just the main parts of what we're seeing in the moon. But now we're going to talk about the different things that are going on that's going to amplify and affect the effects that you're getting from this lunar moon even more. So Mars is in retrograde during this time. Mars actually went into retrograde at the end of October, which was October 30th, and it will stay in retrograde till January 12th. And it is in the sign of Gemini. Mars signifies willpower, assertiveness, and, you know, power altogether. This tells you to reevaluate what you're spending your energy on. You don't want to be spending a lot of your time and energy into things that are not going to accomplish your end goals, especially around this time. It's time to change up old habits and get out of those. As I said before, this is a perfect time to find new habits and healthy habits to be able to stick in your life. So you want to move away from your comfort zone. You want to get away from the bad habits that you're having. 
this can also make it a little bit harder to stay determined um, because of the fact that Mars is in retrograde in the sign of Gemini. So you want to try to use the Taurus energy that you're receiving from the moon to help release what holds you back and stands in your way. Now, being that this is a shorter episode, this is going to be the halfway point where I'm going to get into our sponsors real quick before we finish the rest of the episode. Our first sponsor is the whole reason this podcast even exists. The Golden Silent Film podcast, hosted by Stuart Lee, transports you back in time to when silent films were all the rage and talkies were just starting to make an appearance. Learning about the actors and actresses that paved the way for modern day celebrities and seeing their struggles into the spotlight, it's just, it's very fascinating. And it's kind of funny to me because Stuart Lee is someone I actually work with at, you know, my day job. And he's a very quiet, reserved type of person, unless you like get friendly with him and you guys can have conversations and he'll surprise you. But seeing him in this podcast, or at least listening to him in this podcast, it's just, he's so energetic. He really gets you listening and hooks you. And it's just a great podcast to listen to. If you've ever been curious about the beginnings of the film industry, definitely check out the Golden Silent Films podcast hosted by Stuart Lee on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or other podcast streaming services. Also, one of our big sponsors right now is the app called Anchor. Anchor is a very easy way to be able to set up your podcasts if you're interested in making your own kind of podcast. It is very simple and easy to use. Uh, It gives you metrics to show where your podcast is being listened to. It shows you where most of your audience is coming from, whether it's on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or whatever people are listening on. It gives you age ranges, genders, like it gives you all of that. And it's so easy to be able to use and be able to put out your podcast in a timely manner because you can schedule them to be released on a specific date, or you could just release them right right then and there whenever you're done editing. Also, I want to talk about Astrid Army, which is my brand. I built it to be a safe place for anyone. We have our Astrid's Army Discord where everyone's able to come and chat with me and my group, ask questions about paganism, see sneak peeks on the books that I'm writing, and even find a gaming buddy because we do have a gaming uh, like section in there where you can you know, find people who play Xbox or PlayStation or PC, whatever you play, because I'm a huge gamer and I love to game, so it's always nice to find other people that enjoy the same things that you like. Uh, We also have a merch store set up on Etsy under Astrid's Army. Some of our designs are going to be taken down shortly to make way for new merch. We have some Yule and festive season uh, designs coming out. We're also looking at making blankets, cups, backpacks. We will be posting some different samples on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. So if you are not following those, you're definitely going to want to check out Pagan Haven on Instagram and Facebook. All the links to these will actually be in the description of these episodes. I try to have a link in bio for everything, which I put on my TikTok, which I put on our Instagram, whatever. I try to make it very accessible for you guys to be able to look into whatever you need to find. So with that closing our sponsors, let's get into the rest of this episode. So we talked about the moon and Mars's retrograde. Now let's get into talking about the Sun and Mercury. The Sun and Mercury are actually in conjunction in Scorpio. This meaning that the Sun and Mercury's energy is blended and is working together in the sign of Scorpio. The Sun impacts impacts our outer world and Mercury is all about communication. This is a very good time for negotiations, like, are you trying to get something better at work? Um, Are you trying to get, you know, there's just, it's a great time to sit for negotiations. Uh, Making friends, planning for, you know, brands, future. I'm definitely using this time to really work on the Astrid Army brand and our Pagan Haven podcast. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do this bonus episode for you guys. If you're starting to struggle due to Mars's retrograde, you're just gonna wanna try to be fluid and allow Scorpio's energy to guide you and flow through you. 
a lot of these different things are going to be at odds with each other and you're going to want to use the energy that's going to work best for you and your end goals. So being that Sun and Mercury are in conjunction in Scorpio, Sun and Uranus are actually opposing each other right now. Uranus being a planet of revolution and freedom, you may start experiencing a calling for change and freedom in the this time of the um the bl the blood moon, the eclipse, everything. Like during this time you're really going to Feel the need for change, and it is going to bring sudden change or un unexpected interactions or events, highlighting areas in our lives where we need to be more open and adaptable. And like I said before, you're going to want to use this time to really get out of your comfort zone. Being that the Sun and Uranus are opposing each other, the Moon and Uranus are actually in conjunction in Taurus. So the moon being the inner world will help us for grounding ourselves while we're in Taurus. And we think of Uranus as communication. So this conjunction allows us for our subconscious thoughts to be freed and openly spoken. Because of this eclipse, because of it being a lunar eclipse, this blood moon, that subconscious thoughts are going to become very, very loud during this time. So this is actually a time for dream work, which is one of my specialties. I love doing guided meditation, dream works, vision interpretations, and this is definitely the time where I shine. The energy from the moon and Uranus being con uh, connected allows for more vivid dreams, and these dreams can even become lucid or even be able to astral project. And for the people who do not know what astral projecting is, it's when you're seeing yourself out of body. Like you're basically floating over yourself, watching everything unfold. So this is going to be a big time for awakenings. And I know I talk about awakenings a lot on my TikTok page, but being that this is only our second episode on here, uh, you guys have not talked to me or you guys have not heard me talk about awakenings, but awakening is when someone is becoming more aware of their inner power and their inner energy. It's very often used when witches are coming into their power, they're being awakened to the power they possess within them. And we also use awakening as in finding the gods. So whenever you're starting to find your path and paganism in general, whether you're following Norse, whether you're following Greek, whether you're Wiccan, Druid, no matter what type of like religion you're in under paganism, it is an awakening whenever you find your path. So this is going to be a huge, huge, huge time to be able to find your path along the gods, along your inner energy, you're definitely going to want to milk this all for what it's worth. I know for a fact that I will definitely be using this time to really work on this brand and be able to grow this podcast so that I'm able to teach all types of people about the different types of religions underneath paganism. And it was funny because I was actually just having a conversation with someone the other day because he was talking about different types of religions and saying, oh, well, that's not paganism. And I'm like, actually, it is. Because just like Christianity has a lot of different denominations under them, like Protestant, Lutheran, Baptist, paganism is the same. Paganism is Christianity where Lutheran is Norse. In a comparison, they're definitely not the same. But as explaining what paganism is as a whole, that is the easiest comparison I can give you guys. So yeah, you definitely want to use this lunar eclipse, this blood moon, the beaver moon to make big changes in your life. You're definitely want to gonna, you, my goodness, I am so bad at speaking tonight. It is a late night. I was up early to watch the blood moon and working nine hours at work. So I do apologize, but Yes, you're going to want to use this time to get out of your comfort zone to be able to make big changes in your life. And maybe you'll find some unexpected changes as well, because this is a time where unexpected events are going to happen. And the best thing to do is just ride it out and see what happens. 
So that is actually the end of this episode. Like I said, this is a bonus episode, so it is very quick for you guys, but I wanted to be able to give you guys a little bit of an outlook of what this blood moon meant because not a lot of people do understand that kind of stuff. I, for one, don't really understand a lot of different astrological signs because that's not my specialty, but I love learning about it and I will definitely do the research I need to be able to teach you guys and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for listening make sure you are following us on youtube spotify apple podcast even our various social media sites and i definitely look forward to our podcast that is coming out on november 15th that is going to be talking about familiars spirit guides and these are the things that i specialize in so i'm very excited to be able to talk to you guys about that and james will be joining us for that podcast so thank you again for listening and you have a wonderful wonderful night